I'm Bill Wagerman, staff writer for Ohio Valley Outdoors magazine. I went to the Great American Outdoor Show at the Pennsylvania Farm Show and Complex and Expo Center in Harrisburg, PA again this year. The complex is massive, 650,000 square feet. That's almost 15 acres. This year there were 1,095 exhibitors, over 200 seminars and demonstrations, 36 guest and celebrity appearances, and over a dozen special events and contests. Every day is filled with activities in the arenas and in the seminar rooms with expert advice from the professionals. We're here at the Great American Outdoor Show and this is Sean Mann. Sean? Hi, how are you doing? Pretty good. Uh, uh, my name's Sean Mann. I'm from Trap, Maryland. Um, I make goose calls and duck calls. And uh, for 25 years, I've been here at the Great American Outdoor Show doing free demonstrations and seminars on goose and duck calling. So in addition to all the other things you can see here, you can come by and get a free demo on a goose and duck call. You can buy a goose call or a duck call, or you can book a hunt with us in the Chesapeake Bay region. And you still put on the free demonstrations still here Still doing everybody. free demos every day, doing a seminar every day, yeah. two tomorrow, one more on Sunday. Okay. Thank All right. You, Thank you. Appreciate yeah. you coming out. Yeah. One of the larger areas is the Outfitters Hall. It's an aisle after aisle after aisle of fishing outfitters that cover North America and hunting trips from all over the world. I even ran across a couple outfitters from Ohio. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter from Tusca Tines of Ohio. Uh, we are an outfitter in South Central, uh, Pike in uh, Adams County. We specialize in Russian boar and white-tailed deer. Uh, around Latham and uh, Hillsboro area. I'm Matt Carey with Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters. We're located in Coshocton, Ohio. We have 9,600 acres in four counties. And I'm here at the Great American Outdoor Show. There's an entire arena dedicated to everything and anything that is related to archery. You can check out the numerous blinds, tree stands, and platforms. Show, and we're at Tree Houses by Dave with Dave Hoffman. You got it. And Dave's going to tell us a little bit about the tree stands that they make here. Uh, well, uh, actually this year we offer about six or seven different models. This is our bald eagle model we brought last year. Mm -hmm. And we also have our red-tailed hawk model behind us here. Those are just two of them that we have. We also, this year, we went to tree houses just rather than tree stands. Oh. So we do offer a couple larger ones. We have the falcon and we also have the bald eagle which we put a roof on. Oh, so, that'd be nice. Yep. Yeah, well it seemed oh. like this last year people have gone from the stands mm -hmm. to the houses. So. And do you put a TV in them too? Well, we can. <laughs> we can do anything you want. And find out what is new from the manufacturers. I'm here with Josh Wilson from Parker Bows. He's going to tell us a little bit about the new bow from Parker this year. Absolutely. Here at the show, introducing our 2015 Enforcer. It's upgraded this year with our split limb technology, rated at 315 feet per second. Comes with the dual string suppressor, the scope, quiver, and four arrows. Uh, as always, all of our Parker crossbows are made here in America. And if you need any more information, you can visit us online at www.parkerbows.com. I'm here with Tony Tazza from Hoyt, and he's going to tell us a little bit about their new bows. Hey guys, this is our new Nitrum Turbo series bow. Um, our newest entry into the speed bow market. Brand new cam system, modularly adjustable, 350 feet per second. New zero torque roller guard system on it. New offset riser design. Uh, a lot of cool features. The smoothest 350 feet per second bow in the market. Here at the Great American Outdoor Show, you can even test shoot all the newest equipment. There's even an area set up to challenge your 3D archery skills. Looking for a boat? You can see everything from kayaks to pontoon boats, plus a variety of everything in between.
If fishing is your forte, the North Hall is dedicated to fishing. Many of the exhibitors have their equipment available for purchasing on the spot. You can even watch and learn from fishing demonstrations. I like to hunt big smallmouth. That's what I like to do. They like to hunt deer. I like to hunt big smallmouth. But in late fall, when the water gets down into the 40s, I like to throw a small X-Rap, a hollow X-Rap, and basically like Ken said, you throw that out there, set it out there, and you're going to let that thing get down, and you're just going to go. The Great American Outdoor Show is a family activity. Children can have fun at the archery tag booth and a special events arena, and the trout fishing pond, and a pellet shoot range. And there's my favorite part, the shooting sports. It fills the massive exposition hall at the complex. This is an opportunity to see what's new and chat one-on-one -on -one with the manufacturers. Here at the Great American Outdoor Show with my friend Bill Dermody from Savage Arms, and Bill's got something new to show us this year. Bill, I'm super excited about this. This is our biggest new product launch in several years at Savage. It's called the A17. It's a completely new platform, and we believe it truly is the next generation of rimfire auto loaders. It's a it's a self-loading rifle chambered in 17 HMR. Oh. Now there's been some attempts at that in the past using straight blowback action. The straight blowback action, as you know, doesn't really lock up. It's designed for a 22 long rifle. Mm -hmm. So when you start putting a 17 HMR, a magnum cartridge in there, there's been some safety issues, some catastrophic failure issues and whatnot. So we designed a gun from the ground up to shoot that great little cartridge. Yeah. And we've got a gun that'll safely, reliably, accurately shoot 17 HMR. It's called the A17. It starts shipping March 2nd. Outstanding. I'm here at the Walther booth at the Great American Outdoor Show with Everett Dagger, the marketing manager for Walther Arms. Walther, tell us about what you got. Well, it's good to see you, Bill. What we've got this season is our Walther CCP, and it debuted last year at the NRA show, but it's really gotten a lot of momentum as a real great option for folks looking for concealed carry. A lot of the benefits of this firearm is the fact that it's got an internal piston mechanism which helps fight the recoil, traditionally found with a lot of concealed carry firearms. It's got a seven capacity magazine, and also an external safety. Plus, it's easy to rack, so folks who've got a little trouble with the force of mm -hmm. traditional slides are gonna find the CCP a real joy to shoot. Excellent. We're at the Browning booth here with Paul Thompson, gonna to tell us about Browning's new 725 Satori. Yes, Bill, what I'm holding is the new 725 Satori Field, and it's in small gauge, so for 2015, we're introducing a 28 gauge and a 410, and our updated Satori. What's unique is a mechanical trigger in this Satori, which gives you a lot lighter, crisper trigger, and this is just an awesome lightweight field gun, so I think your bird shooters are going to love the advantages of this new Satori that we're introducing this year. Thank you, Paul. I'm here at the Smith & Wesson booth with Jim Unger, and Jim's going to tell us about their new bone collector. Yeah, this is our new model 460 bone collector. It's an X-frame revolver in 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Uh, it's a seven and a half inch barrel, PC tuned action, unfluted cylinder, two tone, uh, fiber optic front sight, Picatinny rail for optics on the top, and it's limited production of 1,500 units. So if you don't get one now, you may not get one. That's true. <laughs> okay, thanks Jim. You bet. Here at the Mossberg booth with Matt Seavers holding one of Mossberg's new Patriot rifles. Tell us a little bit about it, Matt. Well, this is the Patriot rifle. It's one of the hottest things here at the Great American Outdoor Show. Really excited about it. Short and long action, 11 different calibers, laminate stock, walnut stock, and synthetic stock, available with fluted 22-inch barrels uh, and vortex scoped combos as well. And adjustable trigger. Yes, sir. Outstanding. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. I'm uh, here at the Federal Display with Jacob Burns, that's going to tell us about something new that Federal has come out for turkey hunting. Ticker. Hey guys, we're out here promoting our third degree turkey load, which comes in 12 gauge, three and a, three and three and a half inch. Um, it's got three different types of shot in it. So you get consistent um, patterns at 10 to 50 yards for better knockdown power. Excellent. 
here at the Great American Outdoor Show, and I ran across an old friend of mine, Dave Miller from CZ USA. And Dave was telling me about something interesting that he's going to be attempting here in the very near future. Dave. Well, Guinness, the uh, CZ USA and Pheasants Forever is going to try to set a new world record. I, being a pro shooter for CZ USA, is going to be shooting 3,000 targets in an hour to set a new Guinness record. Okay? This is in conjunction with Pheasants Forever to benefit the youth program, No Child Left Indoors. And I'll tell you, the amazing part you were telling me, Dave, is that you've been practicing a little bit using a CZ shotgun, obviously. That's right. But how many have you got broke so far? Well, I'm shooting a uh, 712, yeah. 712 targets, very similar to the one I'm holding here, and the 912. And so far, my best, my best practice, I've had two practices, I hit 2,892 on the last practice. So in three, one hour. In one hour. That's, thir oh. that's 3,600 seconds. So... Yeah, we, we come really close, but not quite got it yet. So we'll get there. I'm quite confident we're going to make this um, a, a reality. And, and Here at the uh, Liberty Safe display with Sam Marsh. And Sam's going to tell us about Liberty Safe a little bit. All right, Liberty Safe, uh, we're known, number one, for our, our warning. Our warning second to none at this time. Um, it's a lifetime warning should the safe ever be in a fire or attempted burglary. Um, we automatically will honor bringing, you know, replacing the safe warrant for the warning itself. Um, we replace it. It is a lifetime warning, um, and they really truly back that. It's what we're mainly known for. And your customer service is good too. Yes, they're known for that. It is everybody that does buy a safe from us fills out a warning card and a regist warning registration and a survey. Should there ever be a problem with um, the safe, we back the safe up 100%. I can vouch for that a year ago I had an issue with the Liberty Safe and it was covered under warranty and their uh, service for customers is really good. And check out some of the newest four-wheelers. The Great American Outdoor Show is huge. You can easily spend a couple days there and you never know who you'll run into. I'm Marvin Ashwalker. This is my wife, Danielle Ashwalker. We're from Columbia, Ohio. We came to the Great American Outdoor Show in Harrisburg, PA, just to see all the different exhibits, the outfitters, come to the seminars. We're currently, we just got done watching Sean Mann talk about goose hunting. 